Okay, looks like we're live. I think we're live. If we're live and you can hear me, let me know in the chat, guys. Good to see you all here. Um, let's have a quick check on the attendance. A bit of a register, if you will. We got Mr. Rendell. Uh, Mr. McFarlane is here. Mr. Ron Tommy, we've got Mark Weston. We've got Robin is here as well. He's enjoying the frequent live streams. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I had to be very, um, very, very hasty on my run today to get back and make sure I had enough time to get everything ready. And I just about managed it. Just about. Glad you're enjoying them, Robin. I'll keep them going for you. Uh, Ron Tommy says, long live the Glazers. Yeah, I know they're just kicking off, aren't they, in the um, Manchester United game in the Europa League final. Yeah, the Europa League. God, it could have been Arsenal, couldn't it? If they were, you know, played reasonably well, but they didn't. They just, yeah. I've less said about that, the better, I think. Uh, who else we got here? We got Gozas here. Um, Stevens here. You just come here from Kafuzi's live stream. Awesome. Thanks for joining us today. Um, Rob Weatherall is in the house. Greetings to you, Rob. Hope you're doing okay, buddy. Uh, Christian's here. He says, good evening, everyone. Christian. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Brendan Cam is in the house. Good to see you, Brendan. Um, Ozan Fant Backtrose is says, "Oh hi." <laughs> I like it. Um, Mike T says, "Ed, hope you're doing well." I am. I'm literally got in about 20 minutes ago from my run, so I'm just sort of trying to <laughs> rehydrate myself with with um, yeah. Oh, it was well earned today. It's been a long day today. I'll tell you about that in a sec. Who else we got here? Um, Victor's here. How you doing, Victor? He says, greetings from Madrid. Fantastic. We've got more Madrid-like weather out there today, Victor. It's nice and warm, very mild, hardly any wind. It's beautiful. Uh, Jay's in the house. Uh, Jay Galaxy 74 says, morning from Adelaide. Awesome. Across the other side of the world. That makes me feel a little bit more connected with everybody out there. Just hearing that from you, Jace Galaxy, it makes me feel more connected. Um, Replicant is here. He says, hello. Hey, Ed. Hey, chat. Uh, Phil Taylor says, hi, Ed. A new runner from Canada. Fantastic. What part of Canada are you from, Phil? Glad to see you here. Carl Stokes is here. He says, how do? I like it. There's lots of interesting greetings there, guys. Very good. Um, and Elias says, Guinness. Yes, it is, certainly. It's the... Uh, Perfect recovery drink, I find. Hit it for six tough miles in the heat and a bit of Guinness, it soon rehydrates. No, it doesn't. It's probably really bad to do that, but it's been a hard day. So I think I earned it. I've earned it. Uh, George says, incoming shoes. I've got two here, so I'm going to show you those in just a sec, guys. So hang tough. Hang tough? Hang tough. <laughs> I went back to the, like, the late 80s there, early 90s. Hang tough, guys. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Yari is here he says hello uh, and we got uh, Steve said uh, that foam <laughs> oh it's good foam that's the best foam there is better than midsole foam uh, Kim is here from Sweden how you doing Kim um, let's go Steve is in the place we got runs like a donkey uh, got the Edbug mug today fantastic I hope the drinks taste even better there from the Edbug mud uh, you know what I mean um, Steve says, present sir, excellent, I like it, you got it Steve. Um, when I do the registers sometimes for my class, I like to do them by surname, uh, like in Ferris Bueller. So you can sort of announce the names, you know, Smith, Smith, and then you just keep saying it. And if no one's there, or somebody's not there, and you know they're not there, you just keep doing it. <laughs> until they all just start laughing. A lot of the students had never seen that film. It's it's uh, it's terrible. They sh they should show it at school or something, haven't they? Um, Greg Previtt says, "Cheers, Ed from New Jersey. Fantastic! So many people here from all over the world. It reminds me of that song by ELO called All Around the World." Yeah. Blixton's here. I haven't got the structure twenty three yet, Blixton, but if I can find it, and they've still got some in my size on the app, I may go for it. Um, but this, yeah, there's two here today, new ones already. So, yeah, I, I, I complete one to a hundred, and then yeah, there's, there's some more. Uh, Keith Shoemaker says you're newest Strava follower of the states. Awesome, thanks, Keith. Uh, I know that you're the shoe guy, but any experience with the Garmin Solar watches? I haven't tried any of those. Um, I'm still hanging in there with my um, two four five 
and uh, that's that's doing really well. My son loves this thing as well. If I hold this up to him, he's he's like nine months old. He just loves trying to turn it on and push the buttons and yeah, maybe he's going to be like a watchmaker or something. I don't know. If he starts eating like you know Swiss chocolate and I don't know, then we'll know he's going to be a watchmaker. Um, Javier says just got back um, in time from his lunch break. <laughs> awesome in California. Yeah, Mrs. Redbird Beast, we're, we're all doing well, thank you. Um, he's aiming for a five mile relaxing run later after work. Nice doubling up. I like it. I think that's what he said. Uh, Dan is here. We got Rob's here as well. Um, <laughs> Keith Schumacher, pew pew. There's <laughs> Arbres is here from Jersey. Awesome. Uh, Robin says, any thoughts on the Adi Zero Prime? Now, I've got a running shoe yay or nay script ready, um, but today's been a, a crazy day. Um, it's been so busy today. Um, yeah, I'm, it's one of those days towards the end of the year where loads of stuff's happening and you're trying to keep charge of all of it and make sure it's all going well and it's used up everything. So I might do that one in the morning when I've got a bit more energy back again um, and just chill. The, I got the run in. I wanted to do the live stream today for you guys and keep that rolling. Uh, so I, I will be talking about the Adi Zero Prime X and my... Um, thoughts on that one in the next running shoe yay or nay that'll launch probably tomorrow um, I might drop it quite early morning in the UK so look out for it guys that'll be there tomorrow for you let's go Steve says new kids on the block that's the one hanging tough I like it hey Fod runners here how you doing Andy Andy hopefully very soon you and I can go for a run just please be gentle on me okay because you are a man of serious speed and ability and Poor old Ed Bud these days, he's he's got some pace, but it's nowhere near what you got, buddy. So it'll be fantastic to do that very soon. Now things are starting to um, relax and, and return to normal a little bit more. It'll be fantastic. Ed Bud and the Fod Runner um, out on the uh, on the trails. Keep me away from those boars, though, Andy. I don't want any boar attacks while we're out there. That could be, be a bit dangerous. Uh, <laughs> hope you're doing fine, buddy, and all the family are okay. Um, Kerry Bats is here. From Brooklyn, awesome. I think you should have different uh, decade themed shows. Yeah, that, that that could be quite cool. In fairness, I've got a lot of clothes from that era still, because um, I just, I don't really like throwing things away. I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, but yeah, I, I could do that. Maybe that I could put some effects on the, on the camera, something along those lines. Uh, Rookie Runner from Ireland, awesome. Nice to see you, VJ. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Rob's in Las Vegas, amazing. Viva Las Vegas. I, I think I fancy watching an Elvis film later. Actually, I think I think we'll go with an Elvis film. I'm not sure Miss Ed Bud's going to be up for that, but mate, what have we got? Uh, I can see here we've got Fun in Acapulco. Um, girls, girls, girls is there, or maybe Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii. Now the weather's good out there. That could be perfect. We got a super chat. We got a super chat. It is Sheldon. Thanks, Sheldon. I really appreciate that. That really does help us out. Uh, he's a teacher too. Awesome. Tying up all the ends, uh, end of the year. Loose ends. That's the one. That's what we're doing. Um, yeah. Relaxation is the key. You know how it is, Sheldon. That's really kind. Thanks, buddy. Much appreciated for that. Maybe I'll treat myself to a, uh, some cookies later. That's that's my uh, my little vice. <laughs> um, let's try and keep track here before I show you some of these new delicacies that we've got here in the shoe sanctuary. Beast is here as well. I'll try and get Beast in a sec. She's not looking like she wants to hang tough with us though at the moment. Uh, Stephen Myers says, yes I'm a teacher too Stephen. I think there's quite a lot of running teachers you know. Uh, AM says, if you're traveling for work for a week or two, which running shoes will you take with you? Ah interesting. I'll tell you what worked really well the other day for me was the SL20s. Um, the 20 point, uh, sorry the 20.2 um, I wasn't sure about them, but massive backpack full of laptop, all the other bits and pieces. Don't worry, it's not a, a magnetic hard disk style laptop. It's a Surface Pro, so no moving parts there. Um, heavy load, loads of rain, wind, and the SL20.2 were superb. Really good underfoot cushion. So that might be a good sort of, uh, I don't know, commuting to work type shoe and back from work. It could work well. I know what our principal um, at the college I'm at, he's really keen on that. He's trying to get people cycling into work, 
Um, there's a special scheme you can get bicycles and stuff, so I might try and do the same, but with running shoes. I'll put it to him and see what he says. He's a, he's a great guy, what a fa fantastic guy. Um, when you've got someone like that right at the top, who he just generates so much good, positive kind of energy everywhere. It really has a massive beneficial effect on all the staff, all the students. So that's really, really positive. Oh, let's see what's going on here. We got um, a Prince Taylor says, what shoes do you recommend to prevent runner's knee? Well, I guess it kind of depends um, why it's happening. There's so many different attributes to consider, I suppose, with a runner's kind of form and the mechanics there. It's really hard to say. Um, I found um, certain shoes with a rocker that were quite stiff did not work for me. The Carbon X really did not work at all um, and gave me a bit of a problem with my knee. The Carbon X2 does not do that. I don't know whether they've changed perhaps the um, the measurements. There's something else that's a little different about the foam, maybe the upper, but yeah, that shoe, um, that shoe really gave me some problems. So I haven't had any others that have done that. If anybody's got any good um, suggestions for Prince Taylor, uh, do let them know there. Uh, Kev Burmaster's in the house. He says, watch Strides work out of the week or hang out here, Ed wins. <laughs> awesome, man. Thanks for joining us, Kev. I think um, we're at 19,100 already. So it's really ramping up this week. Um, I think that Pegasus uh, 38 review um, has got out to quite a few people. Uh, shoe, I've really enjoyed that one. Just a good solid daily shoe that's got a bit of range about it. And it's a good price as well. Um, Rob Shooter's here. He says, uh, loves his two, uh, 245. I only have one album on it. <laughs> yeah, that's the only problem, Rob. I keep listening to the same albums on that unless I take my phone out with me, um, which I don't like doing when the weather's been terrible. So I need a better phone carrying device Especially now I've got another pair of those Aeroswift half tights, which are superb. If you know, if anybody's on the fence about getting those, do go for it. They're really, really worth it. Uh, Blixton says, what subject do I teach? Uh, IT and computing uh, across uh, our college level, but also into HE as well. So that's uh, what I teach. I used to teach music as well um, some time back. Ewan Booth says, hi Ed, any recommendations for wide feet? Hoka perhaps. Um, I know that New Balance do an awful lot of different wider fitting shoes um, and they seem to work out really well for people. So maybe dip into some of uh, New Balance's stuff. Hoka, I've always found them to be quite narrow. I know that they do some um, wider fittings these days in some of the models, but I'm not too um, clued up on that. So uh, if anyone else in the chat there can help out uh, you and please do. Let's have a quick score check while we're at it. Um, it's still nil nil at the moment, so Villarreal and Manchester United. Um, Blixton says best shoes for live guitar performance. Hmm. Best shoes for live guitar performance. Definitely not. Um, Converse All Stars. They they they're too absorbent. The the canvas is too sort of warm. Oh, I don't know really. I need some time to think about that one. When I used to DJ, I used to like wearing the Air Max, the uh, the three or the I guess it's the Air Max ninety. Um, they're really nice when you're sort of stood on your feet for a long period of time. You got a nice bit of cushion there. Um, and yeah, that would be my choice for DJing performances. Reminds me, it's a good times DJing. I do remember um, I was about to start a performance in Spain and a guy accidentally tipped a whole pint glass of, of Coca-Cola into a turntable and it kept going. <laughs> that was the, the dangerous bit about it was it kept going. And I just said to the promoter, what am I supposed to do here? So he, he basically took it off, took the platter of the turntable off and just tipped it out. <laughs> that was just, there you go. And I was thinking to myself, do I really want to touch that now? Is that a good idea? <laughs> John McCluskey said, he's not managed to catch me on a live stream in a while. 
He's getting married on Saturday. Amazing. What shoes should I wear? Well, I guess if you're going to be on your feet for a long time at a wedding, you know, it's going to be a lot of standing up, sitting down, moving about. And of course, later on, dancing as well. So you've got to make sure you've got something that you're going to be nimble on your feet. You don't want something that's too bulky though. So one nice balance between cushion, um, a nice bit of grip on the outsole because, you know, people are going to spill their drinks. you will be on the floor. You don't want to slip over. So yeah, maybe, maybe you could go for some sort of darker colored, uh, the Reebok Energy 3 maybe. You don't want something that's got a really brash out uh, sort of midsole on it either. So, yeah, maybe something like that. That would be good. Something that's sort of, oh, oh, you know, something like this. Not the yellow, of course, because that would be crazy. But maybe a more, a duller sort of version of the Tailwind, perhaps. <laughs> don't think anyone's asked me that before. I hope that's helpful anyway. And I do wish you a fantastic, fantastic wedding day, Joel. I hope it's wonderful. I hope it all goes really well. Hope you have a fantastic time. Try and take it in as much as you can because it, it just goes by so quickly. Uh, it just disappears in the blink of an eye. So um, it's fantastic. And con congratulations from that. Uh, on that, it's fantastic. Uh, Samuel Luxer says, "Good evening, Ed. You've been off running for two weeks with runner's knee. Oh no, another person with runner's knee. Hoping to be back um, Saturday. Any update on the race of the street fly? No news as yet. I think there's a couple of pictures leaked of some." Some people wearing them uh, on a track, sort of standing there, just sort of going, hey, i got the street fly, check me out, I'm ahead of all of you. And uh, yeah, they looked like they, they were serious, serious pace masters. That's what they looked like. I don't know, that's a phrase that I've never heard anyone use, but you, you know where I'm coming from. Uh, Will Willing, will there be a Rebel version 2 versus Liberate Nitro? I think I did a big three with that one. I'm pretty sure that there was a... It was those two and another shoe a little while back. Um, maybe want to get up close to 100 miles on those. I'll I'll give them a spin, uh, get a proper sort of face off. Uh, Richard Rendell says, um, "Congrats also to Joel." Yeah, Rob says he has a plethora of Elvis, <laughs> Elvi, in Las Vegas. I bet there's a lot. I bet there's a lot. Um, Javi, I says, how tall am I? I just ran with someone who was uh, almost a foot taller than me. Yeah, I'm I'm six three, um, so I'd be about the same. And yeah, I do occasionally look like I'm I'm kind of walking. I think probably um, Andy as well, the fod runner, gets that from people as well because Andy's Andy's probably taller than me as well. I, I can't remember how tall Andy is, but yeah, when, when we do our stride. Sometimes you sort of compare to other people and I always think, man, my cadence really sucks. You know, I'm, I really need to up my cadence. I need to get better at that. And then I look at my stride and yeah. So you can't always, um, you can't always kind of figure it out. Uh, Run Tommy says, this live stream is fake news so far. I've not heard that phrase for a while, fake news. That one's disappeared, hasn't it? I'm not sure what he means by that, but... I'm sure we'll get to the, the, the shoe bit in a minute. We want to see new shoes, I suppose. We'll unveil one of them in a sec. Theo says, does the shoe make the man or the man make the shoe? I don't know. A lot of sort of men, women make, make shoes, so I'm not sure. Uh, Richard Rendell says, me, 18th August got cancelled last year. I'm not sure what he means there. But, um, right, let's pull out one of these shoes. Let's pick up one of these shoes. So, there's two incoming reviews. First one, Razor Excess. So, Sketches. I'll pick this one up. Actually, from Sketches themselves. They've actually had some of their own shoes, their own um, performance shoes. And, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. This one's a little bit, um, I guess, more lavish in terms of room um, than the uh, Speed Elite Hyper that I picked up a couple of weeks back. But yeah, certainly feels nice under 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 the foot. I haven't actually um, measured it in terms of. Uh, well, I haven't done any measurements on it yet. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. See um, what the weight is of this. So this is a UK 11. Um, this is going to be my my proper review. I'm just you know a very quick look at this. Uh, let's see what we're looking at. 
8.3 ounces. What we got? That can't be right. 235 grams. What? That can't be right. It is. 235 grams, guys. That is nuts. So it's somewhere between the Liberate Nitro and the um, the Rebel 2 as well. Wow. I'm amazed. It doesn't really, it feels like a little tad heavier than that, you know? But yeah. Certainly uh, the mesh is almost like um, the vapor weave stuff on the uh, original Next Percent. So yeah, keen to try that out. A little bit of padding there in the tongue. We'll give that a whirl maybe tomorrow. There's a big old rocker on that though. Look at that guys. A real rocker. Yeah, nice to get another sketch of she though. I was really uh, pleasantly surprised with the Speed Elite Hyper. That was a, that was a great one. Um, let's see, see the reactions. What do people think of that? Everyone in the States is doing math right now. <laughs> I like it, Rob. Amado's here. How you doing, Amado? Good to see you. He's got some new Adidas come in. Awesome, man. Old school runners, certainly. I'm really enjoying those, Amado, at the moment, around the house um, and just sort of out sort of walking and, and uh, doing sort of tasks and things uh, in the Pegasus uh, 83 uh, and also the those um, SL72s that I got as well. Although I, I gotta say, I'm not going to run in the in the 72. That is, it's it's a tough one. It's really firm. Yeah, certainly some stack heights there. The um, everybody's suggesting that that Adi Zero Prime X has got 50 millimeters. I mean, what do people think of that? What do people? actually think of, of of having a shoe that's got 50 millimeters of stack now bear in mind that's 50 millimeters at a i don't know what a, a us nine eight like a uk eight and a half or something what do you make of it let me know down in the in the comments guys because if i think about the alpha fly i think that's probably for my size i think in the heel there's about 40 five millimeters so what I mean, what's it going to be like in my size if that's already 50 at that lower size it's i don't know what to make of it is it supposed to be like a training version of the adios uh, sorry the adios pro is is that what it is i just i just don't know here we go, some people are commenting, a 15mm stack height might fall and twist an ankle. Yeah. I think the Adios Pro at the moment, for me, seems like the best of both worlds. It's got about, well, I mean, I've run my fastest half marathon time trial time in it. So, yeah, is it supposed to be like a training partner that you would use... I don't know. Or may maybe, like you say, Brendan, it's it's supposed to be like for 100 mile races, something like that. I mean, for the majority of us, it, it's it's not going to make any difference, is it? You could, you could wear it in a race. No one's going to stop you. No one's going to sort of ban you or anything like that. It's not going to happen, is it? But it's really interesting. I did, Richard. Yes, I did get that. I will uh, utilise that pic, that really clear picture there. Um, in the running shoe yeah or nay tomorrow, so do check that one out. Go <laughs> get Firmus, it doesn't know what to make of it. It's it's a real strange one. Do you know the, the shoe that really attracts me most from those four that, that will be coming out is the... Um, I guess it, the, you've got the Adi Zero. Oh, did you know, I'm completely confused now. The the lower stack one. So we're not talking about the Boston 10. We're not talking about the Adios Pro 2. Is it like the Adios far, uh, 6? Is that is that the lower one? That's got part Light Strike and then part Light Strike Pro? I don't know, guys. I, I just think it, it it's, it's maybe too far. I, I can't see how I... Do I need to be that tall? I'm tall enough already. 
I seem to be going down rather than up. I seem to be enjoying the stuff that's got less stack. Oh yeah, the Li Ning. Yeah, I remember seeing that, the Li Ning shadow. That's, that's, that was insane. Um, Ed says, any intel on the new Garmin Forerunner 945? Now, I'll tell you what, I may pick up another Garmin watch later in the year, though. I've been impressed with this one so far. It's been mashed, smashed. It's had, you know, my baby's kind of crushed stuff into it, and it's still still rocking. Let's give it a little rinse, and away we go. And it's ready to, ready to go again. Toxin says, 15 millimeters seems like standing on the edge of a cliff. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say that it's, it's... Maybe it could be incredible. You know, we might all say, ah... Oh, it's too much, but people will try it, and then it's this amazing shoe that could improve your performance even more. Who knows? But to me, it just seems like, yeah, let's go more and more and more. Is it like a um, situation that they've seen the Alpha Fly, and they've seen the um, like the next percent, uh, sorry, the Tempo next percent, and the Invincible run, and they've kind of made it to sort of propel you towards additional cushion, I don't know. Yeah, Maddo says, oh, um, yeah, I did look at those, Maddo, in the Adios, uh, sorry, the Adi Zero Pro. You see, this is the thing. That shoe, for me, is a great shoe, a really underrated shoe. I know Maddo's really enjoyed it. A few other people, I think they kind of expected this sort of insanely propulsive feel, but I don't think that's what it was aiming for at all. But then they've gone the other way. It's really odd. Uh, let's see if we've got any questions here. Space, uh, Stephen Spaceman says, yeah, that stack height looks pretty thick. Um, MC1796 uh, says, hey Ed, if you had to suggest a daily trainer that feels like the Nike Streak 7, but with more um, protection, what would you suggest? Feels like the Streak 7. Hmm. I, I couldn't say the, the Peg 38, it's it's just too plush, you know, the Streak 7's a little bit more kind of down to earth. Maybe if you can find it, like the... May, maybe the, the Reebok like the Run Fast Two, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for the Run Fast Three, if you can find the two, but they're just impossible to get hold of now. It's nothing really quite like the Street Seven. It sounds like they're releasing that Street Fly scene though, which could be great. But then again, it's more of a race shoe. And uh, Kev says, "I got the raises. Yep. Uh, when you run in the end, any chance you can compare the Hyperburst to the Puma Nitro? Absolutely." Yep, I think this one will give me a better appreciation, Kev, um, between the two. Um, I ran today in the Velocity Nitro. Um, I was going to go out and just sort of amble along, do sort of six miles or so, but I had a lot of stress and pent-up kind of frustration there. So, yeah, I just smashed it as fast as I could the whole way, just six miles. and It was about seven minutes, 15 average in the end. Uh, per mile so they felt really good actually at that pace once you get into a nice rhythm uh, even though it's supposed to be a more sort of daily type shoe I suppose and it's not all nitro in there either you've got an EVA part in the heel and I believe that it stretches down uh, and towards the front of the shoe as well I think a few people have missed that it, it seems like the nitro is kind of around it kind of it's a little bit like the implementation I guess of um, light strike on some of those adidas shoes it kind of stretches around so yeah i'll once i got some miles in that um in those kev i'll i'll do a comparison uh, between those midsole foams for you uh, let's see what we got here yeah stephen says when nike was selling millions of their free runs everyone's going minimalist um, would have thought this was the future. <laughs> yeah, it's gone completely the other way. I remember that a while back, you know, people wearing those, um, those sort of five finger things, weren't they? And now it's gone completely the other way. Mm. 
Yeah, I, it makes you wonder whether really that that 50 mil shoe is going to be any better than like a next percent. You know, is it going to be better than that shoe? That is the the standard, isn't it? The standard bearer. Um, Ed, uh, what's uh, Christian says? What SIA uh, in your opinion on running shoe storage? I tend to keep mine in the box um, if I can wrap them up. I mean, I know I've heard of people like wrapping them in like cling film or like um, you know like air packing them and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure really. I think as long as you you've got them in a reasonably stable and consistent temperature. I don't think that there's too much that's going to go wrong, really. Um, I think some of the foams of the past, I mean, you see some of those basketball shoes, don't you, like Jordan 1s from like the 80s or 90s or something, just crumble and fall apart. But that's ones that have literally just been left in a box and never used. When you see some of the shoes that um, people buy it, uh, on resale that aren't really dead stock, they're kind of worn a little bit, they're the ones that go for the most money. And the reason being that someone's worn them a little bit and the glues have time to kind of, I don't know, warm up a little bit and stick everything together. And it just seem, they seem to hold up better over time. And, uh, and they, uh, they're they fine. I know there was a video I watched about the Air Max 3, uh, the Bacons that were released. Or is the Air Max 90? I think they're, 90, I, they're kind of the same shoe. Um, someone had bought a pair that were, had been worn. And they, they were like, what? why have you done that? And he said, well, because they'll actually be wearable. I can actually use these shoes rather than just take them out of the box and have the foam just fall to pieces and crumble. And I think some of these newer foams are not going to be so uh, susceptible to that. I don't think they'll obviously be as, as good as they were. You know, if you pull them out of a box four or five years later, of course, they're probably going to have lost some of the um, pop that they had. But... Look at these things like like pictures, you know, like works of art, some of them. Not all of them. Some of them look awful, don't they, really? But there are some really nice looking shoes, are they? Um, M Baron 50 says, Hi Ed, in terms of stiffness, how do the Adi Zero Pro, not the Adios Pro, compare to the Takumi Sen? Uh, the Takumi Sen was too stiff. Um, yeah, it's not nowhere near as stiff as the Takumi Sen. That one really is, uh, and Amado will probably agree with me here for, you know, maybe some track use. I, I guess you could use the Sen as well if you wanted to run like on some, um, even on grass or something like that, because the outsole's so biting, it like will give you some good traction. Um, but that's a, certainly a shoe for the shorter distances for me. The Sen, you'd have to be seriously on point in terms of uh, more of a midfoot uh, to forefoot strike with that one to use it on a uh, a greater distance um, if you are in the chat guys do give that like button a uh, a good whack it really does help us out to to get the uh, live stream and the channel out to some more people as well so please do help the channel out like that if you can that would be awesome uh, Stephen Spaceman says am I crazy I don't really like carbon plate shoes. What's wrong with me? I think they're not all the same, you know. Uh, some some implementations are better than others. Some are a little bit more forgiving than others. For example, something like the Rocket X from Hoka, quite forgiving. Uh, the foam's quite soft. Uh, something like the RC Elite, uh, the original version, actually quite forgiving. And others like the Rocket, uh, sorry, the Carbon X2, a little bit firmer, they're stiffer. And also something like the Asics Meta Racer. It's pretty pretty tough, that one. Amado says we'll be strapping pillows to our feet soon. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's far off, actually. Pillow, 50 mil, <laughs> something like that. Uh, I can't pronounce uh, the, the name of the, of the uh, chat, though. He says, waiting for Nova Blast 2 review. I don't know when that one's coming out. Uh, I'll try and pick up a pair when they do drop, but uh, over here in the UK, it seems like it can be a bit of a, a wait sometimes for us to uh, get hold of those. Yeah, Joe says, uh, yes, New Balance are wide feet. Hoka definitely quite narrow. Yeah, that old, uh, the Rincon was was quite a narrow one for me. Uh, 
Um, let's see what else we got here. AM says, don't leave your Hyperion shoes in the garage. They will stiffen up. I'll see if I can get a beast to uh, to like lie on them or something to warm them up. Um, beast is good for that. Generating heat. Eating, sleeping and generating heat and noise. That's what Beast is good at. Ah, yeah, Marco Jones. That is a really good suggestion there. The SL20 feels a little bit like a more padded Streak 7. I I thoroughly agree there. Yep. If you can find the original SL20, it's a bit like the A-Team. If you can find them, maybe you can hire the SL20. I know they had a few pairs left on the Adidas website the other day, but... Yeah, they're one, one and one, no, few and far between. That's the the phrase I want to use there. Rob says, "Wild horse or the speed goat?" I haven't worn either of those shoe, 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 either of those shoes. Um, I think if I was going to go for one at the moment of those two, I'd probably check out the speed goat. Only the goat was one of my favourite words when I was a youngster, and I've watched so many videos of Seth running around in speed goats at some point. That um, yeah, it might be fun to try it out. Uh, not that I do a huge amount of trail running, but yeah, it might be fun. Yeah, Amado, I thoroughly agree there. The Audi Zero Pro um, for the long distances there, it's just perfect with the light strike cage and the, the boost cushion. It's just right. People are missing out. You know, some good deals to be had on that shoe. People are missing out. Richard likes him. Oh, good man, Richard. Yeah, you know the secret. You know the secret. Lucas says, Hey, Ed, uh, if you had to get either the Rebel V2 or the Liberate Nitro for speed days, but also use a moderate daily run sometimes, which would you... Oh. You see, that is the question. They're both rocking shoes. Um, I mean, if you want to go super light, Liberate Nitro... Uh, even in my size, you know, boat size is like two, 223 grams or something. It's really light. The Rebel 2 is really light as well. It's about 240 in my size. So you can't lose. Um, I would suggest I find the Liberate Nitro a little bit more stable. So for those moderate daily runs and yeah, you'll both be able, with both of those, you can smash out some really quick. Um, intervals or perhaps if you're doing like a tempo type run ideal um, Isaac says do you ever have um, thoughts of slipping and hurting yourself I did today actually I, I really did I was kind of running along and you have these sort of weird little moments I guess it's maybe it's something to do with your brain like telling you you're entering into this zone that's you know you're pushing yourself hard and if you can hear a dog, by the way, it's my, my dog downstairs. He's complaining about something or another. I'm sure uh, Mrs. Edbud will deal with him. <laughs> She's dealing with him. I can hear her. <laughs> um, maybe it's your brain saying, hang on, put the handbrake on. You know, and you have these weird thoughts like, oh, if I fell over now, I'll, I'll graze my arms. You know, I might hurt my knee. All these weird things enter your head to try and slow you down. But today I managed to get rid of those and I was just thinking... What would Andrew WK do right now? He'd hammer it even harder. And he'd enjoy it even more. So that's kind of what I did. But I do, that does happen. I do have those strange thoughts. It's a weird thing, isn't it? Running is a weird thing. The strange things to your brain. It can make you feel really happy. And then you get those people that cry and stuff, don't you? They start crying. I think I've had that happen once. Um... But that was just because I stepped on a especially sharp stone and embedded into my pair of next percent. I was really upset about that. No, I, was, I didn't cry really. I just was a bit, a little bit miffed about it. It's fine. Um, yeah, the Adidas, uh, is it Garana87 says uh, the Adidas SL20 and the Reebok uh, shoes are kings for price and performance. Yeah, and, and Puma as well now. They've They've rolled out some good shoes there. Um, 23 millimeter roadie says done over 200 kilometers in the meta racer it's grown on him fast days yeah I, the grip is good in the wet um, but for me I, I found the upper was just so large this is the problem with Asics shoes 
the, the kind of the fit is good, but the upper's just huge, and I have to sort of cinch the laces quite tight. And they, yeah, I don't know, they must use some really strange lasts. I did uh, measure my foot, and I've got a, I haven't got a narrow foot, it's like a normal kind of uh, width and stuff, so I don't know what's going on there. It's just in those higher sizes, they seem to be very la uh, sort of lavish and generous with the material. So yeah, just pull it back a bit, A6. You know, save the planet a little more. Don't put quite so much upper on there. Right, I'm going to unveil this other shoe here, just so you guys can see this. I still can't believe the weight of that Skechers shoe. I might have to measure it again, you know. I'll stick it on the scales and try it out again. How's it going, Beast? Yeah, good. I'm glad to see you resting, Beast. Don't overdo it. So, other shoe we have coming up. Craft. I'll tell you what. This is one of the most um, odorous shoes that I've that I've bought in in like a long time, guys. You just open the box and you you can s smell it. <laughs> it's like everywhere. I don't know whether it's like the rubber because there's some serious rubber on this shoe. Yeah, uh, this is the CTM Ultra. This isn't the carbon plate model. Uh, this is the one without. But uh, I will tell you already the upper is again voluminous okay it is huge um, there's loads of it there and the really cool thing about this one is it's got that crazy popcorn like insole the same as you got in the innovate shoes but yeah the, the, the smell is quite i don't know what to make of it mrs edbud was was not keen on it i'll tell you that she was not keen on it so uh, yeah, well, get out in these soon. I mean, there's, it looks like there's a lot of stack here, but actually in reality, um, it comes up quite a lot around the back of the heel there. Um, but a much heavier shoe. Let's just um, get these on the scales and I'll give you a update. So we're looking at about 320 grams. So about 11, is that right? Yeah, 11.4 ounces, so it's quite a bit there. Um, we're looking closer to... That's right, Beast. Beast is right. It's closer to um, tempo next percent sort of territory into that in terms of the uh, the weight. So, yeah, a, uh, a Swedish shoe. And there's some serious lugs on there, guys. Look at those. Uh, at the back. They've got these strange sort of really... Really kind of thin little nubs there. Now, apparently, there's some peabacks in here. Um, I did see another review of these recently, and there's like a core to the foam that's got peabacks in it, but we'll see. We'll see what they turn out like. Um, they're very um, bulky, should I say. Um, Lucy Taylor says, what type of dog do I have? Um, the Oliver is a uh, he's a terrier and a pug crossed together, but he has the intelligence level of a man. He's very very clever, um, too clever in fact. Yeah, Jay Polly <laughs> says that was the Souls Lego compatible. I think you could probably get some Lego on there. You could build do a bit of Lego building. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. Um, Dave says, Pegasus 38, do they come in wide, but only in black, I think? Ah, yeah. I went with true to size on the 38, and it was spot on. I found with the next percent, I needed to go up half a size. What are you doing, beast? It's just, like, writhing round on the floor. And meowing. Do you like, it's the shoe, it's this! That's what it is, I'm sure of it. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's made, it's made the cat go crazy. Weird. I'll have to I'll have to get some footage of this, guys. It's really weird. It's just made the cat go completely mad. I don't know whether there's something on it, maybe, like a, some type of... I don't know, they spray it with something. Who knows? How strange. I've never noticed that before. There we go. I'll get hold of uh, Kraft and let them know that their shoes make the cats go wild. Um, Gorana A7 does, uh, says, Ed, do I um, trail run a lot? Not, not particularly. Uh, um, 
I do have a really nice trail here. You've probably seen it on some of the running footage recently um, in the video. So I'm going to carry on putting some of those bits in there. Um, I think people already enjoy them. I'm enjoying making them as well. It's like a extra little dimension. But uh, yeah, I get out as often as I can around there. Uh, when I want to run on some um, softer terrain, uh, when the legs are feeling like they need a bit of a rest, I suppose, it's nice to uh, get out there. <laughs> Robin says the core's not uh, P-backs if it's catnip. We need a beast cam. Do you know, I watched a video earlier, someone sent me, um, of them washing their cat. Like, it, it really enjoyed sort of being shampooed. And I thought, if I went near Beast, even like for five seconds to try to do that, I would be severely lacerated. You know, Beast is a is an animal that does not like that sort of attention. Um, just trying to put the, the, the flea treatment onto Beast can be hard. You know, you need some gauntlets to, to protect yourself. Yeah, Beast is not... It's not an animal to be trifled with. That's that's for, that's for certain. You coming here? Yeah, Bob. No, no, don't don't knock those boxes over. We'll be we'll be in for a. Oh, oh, beast! You need to go on a diet. Yeah, beast. How's it going? You okay? Yeah, beast. Come on, my love. Oh, off you go. Don't knock those boxes over, though. They've been sorted. Um, right, let's try and answer a few more questions here, guys, before our time is up. It always goes so quick, I find. It just disappears. Um, Nicholas the Greek says, what shoe is the most exciting this summer? What's the most exciting shoe that I'm looking forward to at the moment? I, I really want to get hold, i said it before, the Freedom 4 from Socony, but I've no idea when that's going to drop. I'm not massively excited about the um, Saucony Endorphin Speed 2. Now that they've confirmed it is just, you know, upper changes there. It's going to be the same midsole. I know that the upper on the Speed original works really well, so anything that extra that's added to it, I'm, I'm not really excited about. I am excited that they might launch a Next% Percent 2 Custom by You version. Um, and I'm right on the fence at the moment about maybe uh, going for a custom version of the Tempo Next Percent. Because that was one of my favourite shoes over the last year. That I can run like the wind in that shoe. I don't know why, but it just works for me. There's something about the shoe that just works for me. So it might be nice to pick up a custom pair of those. Yeah, I saw the Freedom 4. They're out in the US. I don't know why they haven't... Um bothered to let us have the both here yet maybe someday they'll they'll let us test them out yeah and maybe the street fly or the hyper fly whatever they're going to call it that's probably another shoe that i think could work very well for me being quite a slight guy um it's got all the things that i want there uh, the zoom x it's going to have a nice thin upper it's going to weigh hopefully not an awful lot yeah, Freedom 4 is out in Europe too, you see. It's just, just here, in the island. In the special island. <laughs> island of madness. The fish and chips. The fish and chip island. Um, let's see if we've missed out any... Uh, Rincon 3? Yeah, I wouldn't mind testing the Rincon 3. I don't think I'm mega excited about it, but I had good memories of the original Rincon. And I just hope they can just do something about the, the bottom. Do something about the um, outsole there. Uh, Chris at Hollyman says, have you got any recommendations for a heavier runner? Uh, 6 4, 16 stone, manage two runs a week. I'd suggest um, checking out that Solar Boost 3 that I had a look at. A smooth shoe, really beautiful transition there. And I think that the Boost uh, midsole there will serve you well. So do check that one out, Chris. Um, Stephen Gersdorf. Um, Gersdorf it says Isle of Plenty. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Sometimes. <laughs> um, Richard Randall says New Balance Fuel Cell TC works for me. Although, uh, yeah, you see, that's another shoe that just worked for me. Um, Rudis Luger says there's a German shop selling the Freedom 4 for 115 euros. D will they dispatch it here, though, without sort of some me mega tax? The, the mega Brexit tax. That's what I want to try and avoid. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, Robin's right. I think you're right there about the um, Rebel 2 um, kind of taking over what the Beacon used to do. I think they just nailed that little section there. Work sway. You can use it as a daily shoe. It's light, but it's so forgiving. I mean, you could race in the Rebel 2, couldn't you? You really could. Um, Garana87 says, Ed, which brand is your favourite? I, know, I, I didn't notice, but maybe you mentioned. I I don't know if I have a favourite brand, really. I've still got favourite shoes. Um, there's certain things I like in Reebok or Adidas or Nike. Oh, Rudis, fan, fantastic. Um, if you can, can you send me like a link? I mean, what in the uh, description of the video there, there's a, there's a like, um, Email. If you can email me, maybe, and let me know where that is, or just let me know what shop it is. Ah, there you go. Sportamore.com. Ah, I wanted. So they're a German firm. Interesting. I have to check that out. AM, thanks very much for the super chat. Is that is that a moose? A turbo moose? I'm not sure. That's kind of me. That's what I look like when I'm wearing the Tempo Next Percent, I think, in my mind. So I like this crazed moose running through the, the forest. Double R. Richard Rendell says, do I get the Rebel 2? I've got the Rebel the 1. It's quite a different shoe, and I think those who've got it in the um, in the chat will, will agree with me. It's a little bit of a different shoe. Now, a lot of people say that it hasn't got that kind of outer edge. I still feel that it's there. You know, it, I, I can still sense it. Yeah, quite a different shoe. The fit's a little different. Quite, it's quite a uh, a short shoe, so you might want to experiment a little bit with sizing as well. There's another super chat there from JP Ber Berklo. Thank you very much. I'd really appreciate that. It's amazing of you guys. Thank you very much. It really does help to support the channel and keep us rocking here. It keeps Beast in catnip and... Uh, me in the uh, in the shoes in the shoe game. We got a lot coming up. I might do a poll. Uh, thinking about it, guys, uh, asking the viewers which one they want me to uh, to hit uh, first, be it the sketches um, or the craft. So we'll uh, I'll maybe put that up later on because uh, I'll be in need for a rest, guys. I've got to tell you, I've got to say, it's been a, it's been one hell of a day. Um, Mitchell Gomez says, favourite vintage running shoe for casual wear? Yeah, the Tailwind's nice, but if you can find them, the Pegasus 83 is a real winner. That is beautiful, and it looks it looks sweet. It looks really nice. I know they have some uh, pairs still available on the Sneakers app, so yeah, that's my favourite. Um, in terms of vintage running shoes, I like the I like my Air Max Three as well. I got the Radiant Red. I picked up at the end of last year. That's a really really nice one. We got a few minutes left, um, so let's just check a few more comments out here. Uh, JP Burklo says thanks a million for all your videos. JP, I really appreciate our super chat there. It helps the video out. It helps the channel out massively. And thanks for tuning in really is appreciated. Um, KS says, any shoe recommendation coming from the Adi Zero Pro? Finding it for long distance, the sole is like concrete, not enough cushion. Um, well, if you want to stick with Adidas, I guess you can try and track down, if possible, um, the, the Adios Pro. I love that shoe. I didn't like it to start with, but cushion wise, if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get with the Adios Pro. We got another super chat there from Grana87. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks for supporting the channel. Um, guys, if you are in the chat and haven't done so already, please hit um, the uh, like button. It really does help to get us out to a few more people. Uh, Chris Vaughan says, any recommendation for a daily trainer for wide feet? Uh, again, I'd look into New Balance line. Maybe the 1080 V11. You can pick that up in, I think there's about three or four different width fittings with New Balance. Um, so certainly worth checking out. Kevin Scott says, interesting, sportamore.com is 5 dollars delivery. That's not too bad. Interesting. The Freedom 4 could be mine. 
Oh yes, it could be mine. Uh, she's there, says, um, got my first race tomorrow. Excellent. Um, running in the Vaporfly version one. I very nearly ran in the Vaporfly um, Flyknit, uh, the 4% Flyknit today, the Gakuso. I might go out in that tomorrow, actually, and treat myself to a blast in the, uh, the Gakuso version. Um, Eddie says, am I not afraid of injuries when trying out so many different shoes? Touch wood, Eddie, I've not had any injuries for... I, I don't know, like last year, so I think it was over a year ago I had to take a couple of days off um, just to rest. That was my back, I think, in the end. I think I like bent over and picked something up. Being six foot three, I forget to use my knees. So, yeah, I think I bent over and hurt my back a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't really find the shoes sort of um, alter too much uh, my kind of running style or anything like that. Um, seem to seem to be okay if anything i think it's helped me to prevent sort of help prevent getting any injury so it's kind of the other way around for me rob shoot um shooter says yeah the 83s are hard to find i got in really quick just after they released those and they are very nice i got my lebron 17s on at the moment which are the most cushioned shoes i have uh, they're more cushioned, I think, than the Vaporfly. They're just so, so beautiful after you've done a hard running session to like, put these on. Um, interesting. So, a uh, new Solomon coming up, the Ultra Glide. Interesting stuff. Uh, we've got time for a couple more. Uh, Chris is saying that um, the craft first. Interesting. I will do a uh, a poll on the community section of the channel, Chris. So uh, I'll stick that up later on. Maybe with a couple of you know the pictures of the shoes. I'll do something strange with them. I'll sit with them, maybe holding them, like sort of like children or something. I don't know. Um, Gosa, yeah, I've got uh, a running apparel uh, script written. Because I've I've received some quite a bit of stuff over the past few months, and I'll uh, I'll put that one out maybe towards the weekend. Um, a bit of a review of the Aeroswift shorts, uh, a couple of caps that I've got, and some other bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, maybe towards the weekend, look out for that one. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Monroe. Um, as a Nike birthday discount, are the Vaporfly 2s worth it? Absolutely. Yeah, I'd, they are. They are seriously good. I would check those out, Monroe. If you've got one of those discounts, you can pick them up for a really good price. Um, Alastair says, oh, is there much difference with a zero-drop shoe? I've tried a couple of zero-drop shoes out um, to great effect, actually. The Innovate G270. Uh, I didn't really find it to be that different uh, at all. It just worked for me perfectly. Um, so yeah, I don't find them too different. Maybe I've got some good strength there in the legs now and the ankles um, to kind of transition um, to that. Right guys, I'm going to draw this one to a close. I want to say thank you to all of you that have tuned in today on the live stream. It's fantastic talking to you here. Um, yes, Raymond, I've got two watches. <laughs> you can never be too careful. I'm seriously invested in time. <laughs> Um, yeah, test, still testing out the, uh, the Koros here as well. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Please, all of you, take care. And uh, yeah, we'll have a new video out very early tomorrow, I should assume, once I've got that one finished. Lovely to see you all. And uh, thanks for the super chats as well. My name's Ed Budd, and I'll be seeing you.